All right, folks, in this video, we are going to update the BIOS for the H470 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. And we're actually live in the BIOS using a video capture card. I'm going to uh, jump back over here to my laptop and we are going to go get the BIOS. So, um, all right, so this is the website. Now let's back up. This is what you need to put in to search for it, ASRock H470 Phantom Gaming 4. Of course, then you hit enter, and then you see this link right here, and boom. So there's support here. We want the one that is down a little ways, and for whatever reason, this thing keeps jumping to that screen. And we want to select this support right here, okay? Now, uh, one thing I was going to say, I've got a Pentium uh, G6400 in here. So your BIOS, if you're using a i3, i5, i7, i9, it may actually look slightly different, okay? Because um, this Pentium, and I believe the Celeron as well, do not uh, does not support uh, extreme memory profile, so it'll look slightly different. Uh, but these steps that we're going to do are going to be the same, okay? So... What we want to do, we selected support, BIOS, and we see there are some different BIOSes in here. Now, there's a, uh, a Windows version, and then there's InstaFlash. So um, I'm going to do the InstaFlash in this one. Later, maybe I'll go back and do a, a Windows version. Um, now you can see what's available here, support ASRock. BFB base frequency boost technology. Um, now, you know, since you may not know what that is, that's uh, what the screen was trying to go to. So let's see if that's worth um, checking out. Base frequency boost technology. So here it is. Wow, that sounds pretty pretty amazing, right? Um, of course, you have to have good cooling. So what does this tell you? Um, basically, what that looks like is it's, it's talking about Turbo Boost. Um, they show down below the base speeds, 65 watts, and then this is unlocking power limits, basically. Um, I, I set mine to unlimited on a lot of these, but, uh, this is up to 125 Watts, which means you have to have a little more of a power supply possibly and, uh, the adequate cooling. Um, but this, this is, you know, I don't know if it's smoke and mirrors, but nothing super spectacular. So back to support BIOS, we're going to go ahead and update it. Now, later, you may see this a 1.20, 1.30, 1.40, and you'll want to read the description on all of these, okay? So, one may say that you need to do, uh, let's say, 1.20 before you can do 1.70, uh, but you might not have to do the ones in between. So, just make sure you read the descriptions before you do it, because this video will stay up here for a while, and... Uh, I mean, this, this thing can be on here years and years, right? And still getting views. Um, all right. Let's get back on track. So we're going to come over here to download. And depending on what you're using, I'm using Microsoft Edge. Uh, it's going to drop it into a folder under download. So I'm going to say show folder. And then I'm going to right mouse click. At least hope I'm going to right mouse click and then I'm going to say extract all. And we can go in here. So there's one file. We could either copy and paste this to our thumb drive or take the whole folder. I'm going to choose to take the whole folder. So I'm going to cut it out. And then we are going to go to where our thumb drive is. Now this is a case where you want to use a decent thumb drive. And 
you know, preferably you won't have all this extra crap on here like I do. Um, so there's our folder. All right. So we're back. Now I'm going to kill the, uh, the webcam. It may have gotten in the way in a few places. Now we're going to go back to um, the BIOS. All right. So let's talk about how you get into the BIOS. Um, when you are, and I'm going to, I'm actually going to step through this whole thing for y'all. So let's say you just turn the uh, computer on. Right when you see the screen coming up right here, that's where you're hitting the delete key, okay? Jam on that delete key. That'll put you in the BIOS. Now, if you don't have a drive installed, it's going to go to the BIOS anyways. But uh, I just wanted you all to see that. So we're in here. We've got a Pentium Gold G6400. Sadly, this CPU cooler I've got has some issues with it. And it's this should be cooler if you ask me, but that's another story. All right couple places to go do this. One is here. And we'll go back to this in a second. The other is under Advanced. Under Tools, InstaFlash. Okay, so we'll just do it from Easy Mode. We're going to click on Instant Flash, And it says No Supported Device. Why is that, folks? Because we haven't taken our... And let me switch back over to the webcam. We haven't taken our thumb drive and plugged it into our computer, okay? So I'm going to go take this over there and uh, put it into one of the USB spots, uh, preferably on the motherboard and not on the case. Um, sometimes computers, for whatever reason, the BIOS don't necessarily always um, see the case USBs, but they definitely will see the, the motherboard one now. USB wise, this is a pretty decent one. Um, you don't want to have a, uh, this is a case where you don't want to have one of those crappy uh, Chinese knockoff ones uh, or the ones that you get on eBay that, you know, cost you $2 and, uh, you know, it's it, their scam basically. Buy a, buy a legit one to do this, okay? So I'm going to go plug this in. All right, so it's plugged in now. When we go to do this, we should find it. So I'm clicking on InstaFlash, and boom, it found it. It's asking to update it. So before we do this, do a weather check. Make sure there's no lightning storms going on, um, wind storms, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, um, rioters. Anything that, you know, could cause the power to go out, right? Um, make sure if you're in a area that's getting hit with COVID, you're not having a party where the mirror is going to shut off your power, like what's happened in California to some people. Uh, I'm kind of joking around with some of this stuff, but uh, in all seriousness, make sure the weather is good, all right? Now, so once you've done that, it seems good. Uh, if you happen to have your computer plugged into a battery backup, that's that's probably even better. But uh, you do not want to have something interrupt this, okay? Uh, you could break your motherboard, and there is dangers involved with, uh, with the BIOS update. Uh, potentially, this BIOS may not act the same uh, when you are done with this. So you may have to also um, change your priorities back to what they were uh, prior to the update. Um, also, if you're doing uh, RAM, XMP, uh, you may have to adjust those speeds. And to be honest with you, you could probably use this, this same video for the B460, Z490 uh, motherboards as well. In that case, um, the extreme profile or extreme memory profile uh, will be more affected. Um, so 
just realize you may have to uh, change things back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click update. That was my sales pitch. Do you want to update? Yes, I do. And now I'm just going to step away from the computer and let this thing do its thing. As well as shut the webcam off again. Programming success, press enter to reboot. Sorry, I got distracted. I think there was a uh, message that came in that said Best Buy might have uh, listed the price for the some of the new uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. So get to check that out after this. So, it's booting. So I don't have a drive. That's interesting. But we do have the thumb drive in there. So I'm going to pull that out. So I had to do a uh, hard reboot to get out of that loop and back to the BIOS. All right, so you see here in the BIOS version P1.10 and nothing has changed here with my BIOS. Now it doesn't mean that yours uh, will not have some differences, but uh, Everything else looks about the same, folks. So thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.